Check your skin Creeping in the background Moving on the wind I'll sleep all too much
Okay. Uh, Hello. Screen share is still off for me. Oh, screen share is off for you again. Uh, okay. What a what a good start. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. This is Dragon's Dogma, uh, and I am joined by my friend Sierra. That's me. I don't really know anything about this game. Uh, Sierra does. I fucking love this game, dude. <laughs> this game fucking rules. Um, hello, Star Crash. Um, yeah, what I know about this game is it's a, like, fantasy, you know, medieval fantasy RPG of some kind. Uh, it has something called pawns in it. Um, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, that was another thing, is this, you start up this game for the first time, and it asks you to set a bunch of options before you even get to this menu. <laughs> it just asks you, yeah. like, what would you like to set for these options? And those options are, like, pawn connectivity? Uh-huh. I, I can <laughs> Anyone? explain most of those None? for you. None? Friends uh -huh. only. I was like, get used to the feeling of being like, okay, I'm pretty sure this means something. There's literally, tell me what. It's literally the first thing they show you, and there's zero explanation. That's the whole game, dog. That's the whole game. Oh, uh, okay. Let's let's. Oh, you. Oh, I was gonna watch that video. You sent me a video, right? Yeah. So this is the fucking original intro for the game. Um. Okay. I wonder if I can actually probably actually put this on the stream uh, i believe this is the original intro it's at least the uh opening intro track um oh is it yeah is it which video? it looks like yeah it's a full video it, it is a video i just can't remember if it's the actual intro or if it's the uh uh cut together music so, uh, uh video um the thing is this track uh, fucking rules let me uh just do this for a second Turn on, I can just turn on the desktop, yeah. Uh, this might not be a, an intro, I'm not sure. <laughs> this might be a cut together video. I, I think it is, yeah. <laughs> this is very funny as a cut together video, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, it does have, like, I, I, the music when the, like, the main menu and stuff was nice. Uh-huh, yeah, no, it's very good. Uh, it's just, it's light, and then, right about here. <laughs> what? <laughs> like a Metal Gear Rising sound on. Uh-huh. It rules. <laughs> like, we're so gonna good. cut somebody into a million pieces. Hell yeah, we are, and that somebody's a fucking dragon. <laughs> what? God. <laughs> Why does a Dragon Age have something like this? If dra Dude, if Dragon Age soundtrack just went, like, yeah, Bad Rock, that would be fucking incredible. I need Anders to, to blow some shit up to this. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, God. <laughs> but, like, they, so they took this out for um, the Darker Risen, I believe, uh, expansion. Uh-huh. Um, and it makes me sad because it's <laughs> incredible. God, there's some images in here that are uh, uh -huh. good. <laughs> They're good. Uh, game's good, is what I gotta say, my dude. <laughs> All right. Well, this is, you know, I'm getting excited. I mean, I was already excited, but I'm, I'm getting mm -hmm. more excited. Because, uh, yeah, I really have uh, no idea what this game looks like at all. Uh -huh. Or what what we do. I don't I don't know anything. Okay. I'm, I'm excited, then. And, and we're going to, yeah, we're so you're on this journey with me. Uh, <laughs> Hell yes, I am. Oh, God. I just... I love this game. It is one of my all-time favorites, despite being... 
I was gonna call it a piece of shit, and that's not true. It's not a piece of shit. I know a lot but of people like this. But it is like a clusterfuck. Skin. Yeah, no, I, a, a lot of people love this game. It is a weird game to love, and sometimes they get mad at you for loving it. Well, it's fine. I, at some, so at some point, I'm going to explain how um, how stat gains work in this game, and you're just gonna be like, "Why would they do that?" Uh, and my response is going to be, uh, "Fuck you." <laughs> I love how they started off as like a traditional, <laughs> like it just sounds like, a, "Oh yeah, this is a fantasy RPG yeah, track." It's a fantasy like, game. And that's, it's fine. It's, uh, I was like, "All right, yeah, I'm into it. I'm into that stuff." Yeah. Uh, I, I like just, light floaty piano. And then like, it goes, pulls the rug out from go. under you. Uh huh. It is incredible. <laughs> What? Uh, also, was that the one ring? Did I? What was going on? I wasn't. I wasn't paying. I'm not paying that close attention to this video. Oh, that's that's apparently like a okay. Um, there are a lot of dragons here, which. Uh, they, uh, so here's the know. thing. There's not. There's one. <laughs> what if Skyrim had twelve animes inside it? I mean, that would make Skyrim <clears throat> better. That, so, that would make Skyrim actually interesting, which is Skyrim's greatest sin. Yes. Skyrim veers away from being interesting in any capacity by yeah. virtue of... Uh, Oblivion has more uh, interesting things in it than Skyrim does, I think. Which is saying a I, lot. Oblivion has things. Is it, like, Skyrim <laughs> is empty. There's nothing there. It's Yeah. Like, I think Skyrim can be very pretty. Uh, oh, my internet yeah. desktop off. Uh, Skyrim as a Vista generator is great, but like... Right, yeah, yeah. That's the thing is, um, the the White Gold City in Oblivion... I am the noted Oblivion hater. The White Gold City in... Or is it the White Are Gold there City noted the Oblivion capital? lovers? I... <laughs> yes, 100%, yes. The, the White Gold Tower, yeah, is the center of the Imperial yeah, the, City. That, uh... the, the Imperial City in general... I guess I, I am probably the closest thing to an Oblivion fan that I know of, and I would still tell you the game's terrible. Uh... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, <laughs> that city is better than any location in Skyrim. Mm -hmm. like, well, Skyrim I, I is very is provincial, bad. right? It, it, like... I, I, Skyrim wants you to believe it is provincial, but it, it does nothing to generate the light oh, yeah, people yeah. who exist in those spaces. Like, right. I mean, this is this is like it's a provincial region, but the game has no idea how to render like mm -hmm. rural communities. So yes. it's just a bunch of tiny cities with twenty people in them. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Azir Tajajizari, you know the book. Uh, uh, yes, you it's... mean my favorite book in all of fucking right. Elder Scrolls? and that originates in Oblivion. Uh-huh. <laughs> Things like that the is... Yeah, I mean, I'm with that you. That's the, the best, best thing in the Elder Scrolls. Thing. Uh, okay, the we're starting only thing again. better than that... <laughs> the only thing even close to that is mantling, and that's just because I think mantling is stupid as fuck and the funniest possible thing on the planet. Mantling should be in every game. Uh... Mantling fucking rules, dude. I love mantling. <clears throat> sure... Normal. It was like normal and easy normal the only option. I didn't read. Um, I didn't um, see any of that. So okay, because it was went by too fast. Something about a dragon. Uh -huh. So this is the tutorial section. You don't have to worry about making a character quite yet. Okay, I might have to actually turn it up a little bit. No. It's yeah, you quiet. you would. So. Uh, this is a game, um, sort of like, uh, <clears throat> you know how you can kind of break parts of Dark Souls 2 by just going, hey, what if I just, like, turned on the, uh, or turned up the brightness? You can kind of do that here, too. Um, just sort of adjust it to your comfort level, but, like, part of the game is very much like, hey, if you don't have lights on, you will be fucking murdered. Okay. So, like, it, it being dark as shit is, like, an actual mechanic, as opposed to Dark Souls 2, where they forgot to make that a mechanic. Okay, what every thrust says, a friend explained mantling to me by Twitter DMs, so I fucking ascended. Do we, what do we mean by mantling, then? Um, <laughs> I, what I mean is, you walk like them until they walk like you. 
what? Because <laughs> mantling to me just means like you jump up to a ledge and your hands oh. grab it and then you mantle up. Oh, which yeah, is a no, mechanic I'm, I'm that should be the... in every video game with a character. I'm talking about mantling in fucking Mor in Morrowind. The the concept of ascending to godhood. Um, oh. The, uh, yes, the the concept of mantling where you, uh, uh, by achieving chim by uh, uh walking oh. like someone until they walk like you. Oh, okay. It, that is part of the you're, way that uh, you're turning uh, to the wheel to see the tower or whatever. Sure. Yeah, uh, that that's one of the ways to uh, to achieve chim. All right, love um, to learn to attack uh by slashing crates. Uh, start to crate uh -huh. is like. About five seconds. There's uh, so many fucking crates here. All right, yeah, blocking is is Dark Souls. Gotcha. Blocking is very good. Okay. It's, uh, you say it's is... not a, a <clears throat> um uh. Oh fuck! I was trying to remember what the phrase in Bloodborne is. Uh, wait, am I just like stuck blocking now? Yeah, yeah. The shield like engenders uh cowardice, or it's not cowardice. It's something a little bit. Uh, like I'm like I'm just like stuck. I just have the shield up. Uh, oh, but I am I hit, doing a different movement yeah. when I hit the button, so I guess uh, like LB is like specifically yeah. It's just holding the shield out in front of you like you would if you had a shield. I mean, I have a shield. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like that's just normally holding the shield out. It's not you're not blocking until you actually hold the LB. Okay, I just I wasn't holding it up before. I think so. Uh... Yeah. Uh, if you were to sheathe, it would, like, put it away. So if you hit LT. Oh, um, oh okay, I see. So it just, like, oh, yeah, it brought, yeah, brought up Drawing your sword automatically too. brings it up. Okay, okay. Wow. Uh, this feels rude. It is. <laughs> like, he's just holding it there, like, kill it. Uh, hey, I got you. Oh, I'm I'm arisen. Okay. Yep, that's who you are. Uh, I'm like uh. Arisen. Go and touch that stone. That that sounds very like unkindled. <laughs> uh huh. It sure does. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Oh boy, we're gonna have a problem with these tutorial props like disappearing immediately. But I saw that was something about a pawn. Uh yeah, just examine that. Uh oh. Uh huh. Oh hi. What's good? What? The f okay. Uh, uh -huh. just just open a wormhole here. Don't worry about it. Hi guys. Mm. Are you a it's witch named Morgana? Because she's yes. bad. She is. I mean, or very good, but uh, you know. Seems dangerous. Well, uh, I'm okay. Oh, I'm okay. gay and a bitch, so like I'm always gonna find any witch named Morgana good, but that's just me. <laughs> oh, you like freaking like buffed me. Yeah. So uh, you can it, when you call for help, um, like that. Uh, so all the pawns have specific uh behaviors and um. Uh, uh, like, uh, oh, there's a goblin there. Patterns of behavior that oh, you can God. train them, uh, and one of the things that you can train them to do is Love to, just uh, get to buff knocked you. on my ass because I wait. What? What is attack? Shit, I uh, forgot X already. And X and Y. I was trying to do Dark Souls all of a sudden. I was like, wait. Oh yeah, no. Whoa! Uh, oh no! So I believe you. Okay, it's fine. You can't hurt your uh, teammates with slashes. <laughs> well, it looked like I was backstabbing him, which I was like, uh. I know. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Okay, I've got magic on me. Uh, yeah, this is going to take some getting used to, just to, to unlearn. Yeah, it, it, it takes a little bit. Um, it, if it, even if it never feels 100% comfortable, that's okay. Uh, that's not uncommon it is a weird game to play um so one thing you have is if you hold lb that is your uh abilities for your shield 
Uh, and I believe if you hold the RB, you'll get your abilities for your sword. Oh, God. Yep. Jesus. So you'll have a total of uh, six abilities at most available mm, at any one point in time. That's true. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, you'll get used to it real quickly, and oftentimes be frustrated. You can only have three for each weapon. You know how I played uh, Monster Hunter, right? Um, is it with just a single slash at any one point in time? No, I played it with a bow. So oh, I never okay. had to do anything. <laughs> I didn't so learn anything I mean, except how to move around and shoot people. I mean, you can kind of do that in this game, too. Bows are uh, good. I mean, you know, I've also played all, all Dark Souls games, uh, but uh, not with a bow. Although I have played Dark Souls 3 with a bow. Uh, Dark Souls 3 with hilarious. a bow seems like it's actually interesting. Dark Souls 3 is the only one I think you can f that is, like, not awful to, like, not horrible to play with a bow because the bow the light bow uh has a roll attack so you okay, can roll back from people and shoot that actually <laughs> which is the fun. thing that makes it like feasible i mean you could definitely do it in the other games but it's way harder uh, um by the way if you ever get tired of like those cut-ins to your pawns i believe there's an option to turn it off um okay yes uh i don't like any of that shit. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Uh, uh, I wonder what it's what it is called. Um, uh, I think I saw something in here about. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that this is yeah, a, cinematic, camera. A cinematic camera. Yep, okay. that would be the one. Yeah, I like the the shit in like you know like Fallout uh, and, and mm -hmm. well it's the other the worlds. Yeah, uh, I, I don't uh, like any the of outer that shit. or outer worlds. Yeah, outer world, the one that's not good. Oh yeah, I haven't played that, but I was just thinking like it's in like like Skyrim and shit too. Uh, has has the the slowdowns for like. It's just like, I don't need a bunch of, like, fantasy gore about, like, you know, showing up my badass, like, slicing somebody up. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't, I also don't know, okay, so obviously my health is in the bottom left, but I don't really know how to read that yeah. yet. So, uh, uh, health is in the bottom left. The green bar is your oh, current health uh, of the total. Okay, I see. As you take damage, uh, your maximum health will also decrease. So the light gray bar is what your total maximum health can go up to. Um, oh, okay. Yes. So that is the most that you can heal with a restorative spell, like the one you're in. And you'll need to use items to heal it past that uh, gray bar. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, this fucking mm -hmm. bird? Yeah. Like, yeah, please kill the bird. I can't. I was like, it's. I don't know that I can attack it. It's buff me. So uh, if you hit r or right bumper, I believe you have a move called Skyward Slash. Oh, of course I do. Uh -huh. I, I have a Skyward sword. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, oh, I do have Skyward, skyward Lash. lash. Yeah. Yep, so it's literally just a slash upwards. Um, Who set it on and fire? And if you want a dash yeah. What's that? Somebody set it on fire. Mm -hmm. Oops, that was not... Um, yeah, so your X attack is going to be basically your dash attack. Yeah, I um, saw that. <laughs> And then your B is basically a dodge attack. Uh, I believe it has you... It's either your dodge attack or your counter. I can't remember which one Hindsight Slash is. Um, Starcrash said, I like that shit in Fallout if just because it gives you a second to breathe. Um, I, at least, like, when I go back and play New Vegas, which is the only one of those, the 3D... Well, it's the only Fallout game, actually, that I... that I What? Why am I on the ground? Uh, that I go back and play. I play it with the... The base Project Nevada mod, which has the uh, like use action points for bullet time, um, so that's yeah. my that's my pause because I also don't like bats. Uh, I, I don't that know. sucks, dude. Bats is like so unfun. Yes, the good one. Yes, correct. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not seeing chats for some reason. Oh. Uh... I guess refresh your or are you yeah do you have you have the channel open? Um, yeah, I have your channel open. For some reason, I'm just not seeing any. I'm just gonna type in chat, see if that helps. I do not see anything. 
Okay, that's weird. So um, I think you just have to like refresh or, or pop it out. Uh, I can't type anything. Okay, weird. I am gonna log out and log back in, I guess? Usually I just refresh the page and it usually works. Oh, I, I tried that as all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, there's a, this is a big lion. Oh, yeah, oh it's, it's a like chimera. A, it's a... Chimera, yes. I was like, is it a Chimera or a Manticore? I always get those mixed up. Uh, uh, so... This one is a Chimera. Yeah. I believe you fight a Manticore later. Yeah, the Manticore doesn't have multiple heads. Oh yeah, I had to think about it. The Manticore is just like a lion with wings or something. At least traditionally. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, but, you know. Uh, the goat uh, that's okay. is weak um, to phys- What? The, the oh, there's a goat on the right. The goat is on the, the back, okay, but I don't know how to get there. I, I'm, I know I can So, climb. uh, if you hit, uh, RT, you will grab and can climb. Oh my god. Okay. Uh-huh. Alright. So, the orange bar underneath, um... Is that stamina? Underneath the health bar is your stamina. Yep. Okay. Wow, it does not recover uh, very fast. Also, I think I'm poisoned. Climbing is a core mechanic. Yes. I, I knew that after you said it. I was like, oh yeah, that is a thing that I know about this game. Oh good, we chopped off the tail. That's good. The, the snake. He's got a lot of health. I mean, I guess it's the first boss. Maybe, what? But... Oh, I got, I got a horse kicked. Okay. Or goat kicked, I guess. Oh, oh. Also, I need my buff. I should just be buffed at all times, I think. Oh, uh, uh, I believe if you instead. hit uh, start or select, you should be able to um, pull up a health menu too, or an item menu. Oh. So... God, I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> I yeah, think well, I would just be completely lost. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I would be paying a little more attention to tutorials, so I, I would know a, you know a little bit, but like... This is a hard game to play on your own. Yeah. All right. But, I mean... Like, if you were not playing it on stream, I would just be like, you you should just play this with the wiki open and immediately in front of you. Right. Um, also, I don't know if you've noticed, but you are, uh, poisoned. Oh no, I noticed. I just didn't know what to do about okay. that. Okay, so if you hit, uh, select, I believe it is. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so, so this is the item menu. <laughs> yeah, so go to yeah it is. Uh, so greenwarish and the various forms of greenwarish are, like, your this basic health. health, uh... And, okay, so this one, we're just, uh, purchase poison. So Yep, so you're going to want to take that. Alright. And then green marish is one of those things you can use to bring you above the, uh, the like, reduced health minimum. Or maximum, rather. So if you were to eat some, it would be able to bring you past that, uh, reduced, uh, maximum right. health that you've taken. Well, fine right now, <laughs> I think. Oh, okay. Let's, let's try and dodge it. Okay, there we go, yeah. Oh, that was, that was, I think there was a little bit of music, like, getting in there. Mm hmm Like, a little bit of a jamming. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep, come on. I don't have, I don't know how to use magic, so. Um, <laughs> like, hit the lion with magic, I'm like, uh. So, uh, hopefully the, the wizard you are right that. now cannot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hopefully the wizard does that. Oh boy, okay. I don't know if there's like a faster recovery thing here. But... Uh, so you can hit R to, uh, to let go. Or, or uh, hit RT again to let okay, go, so there basically. Is, is there like a lock-on, or? I don't believe so, no. Okay, I'm just confused about my facing, kind of. Uh, oh, yeah. okay, right now I have no, uh... It seems like if I'm, if I'm blocking, I do kind of like point towards enemies. Oh, fuck! Uh, or 
or maybe not. Maybe I just like point the way that I was when I was. I'm not sure. So uh, when you have the opportunity to do, uh, you should try and uh, use uh, me uh, special attacks right there. Uh, they eat your stamina, but they're going to do significantly more damage than just your basic attacks. Okay, those are the ones where I hold the button. Like, hold the trigger. We did it! Yay! Hey, Jay! Uh, Jay, I'm playing this game finally. <laughs> Jay gifted me this game, like... Yay, I'm glad you're playing it then. Last year, sometime... <laughs> don't remember. Well, it feels like a long time ago. And I said I would stream it at some point. Okay. It begins. Yep. I don't remember gifting it to you. <laughs> That's how long ago it was. <laughs> yeah, you're like, this seems like it would be a good stream game. <laughs> it's like, I think I was in the middle of dead fire at that point. I was like, well, wh why? What? Is there French? Uh huh. Is this a Don't world worry about with it. French? Don't worry about it. Is it, am I supposed to do something? Okay, uh... let's start. I don't know if that was... Okay. So now we're on character creation. I see. Um, so, one thing to know about character creation that it will never tell you. Your height and weight are determining factors for, I believe, your health and stamina. Uh, and carrying what? capacity. Uh-huh. Carrying capacity is very important. However, you will soon have a pawn who you can just put all of your shit on. So okay. also, kind of doesn't matter. So you can just make whatever you want, but if you want to have high carrying capacity, just give yourself extra height and weight, I believe. Okay. Wait, oh, oh, this is like, uh, uh, this is like Baldur's Gate, where, like, I can't, like, switch between steps. I have to do them in order. Sure do. Oh, boy, okay. <laughs> uh, I told you. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting confirm. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> oh my so, god. So, um, yeah, so in, in order to appear in other people's worlds, you have to have a pre-approved name. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh-huh. Oh. So that you can't put dickass as your name and then have it show up in little Timmy's world. Oh, that's close enough. Uh, so these clothes don't matter, I'm assuming. No, this is just what? determining a, uh, oh, fuck! uh, huh, uh, huh. Uh, this is just like a basic, uh, so, preset. So what though. is height and how do the height and weight actually work? Uh, let me look up the specifics cause it's weird and finicky. I, you I, know, like this whole uh, game. Basically do I want more height? I believe you want more height. Okay, so uh, the amount of character weighs not only determines uh, the uh, appearance of the character and it, but also its stat. Uh, Thank so, you for the ball, uh, Lower weight basically gives you a faster stamina restoration, um, but much lower maximum encumbrance. Uh, whereas a uh, a higher weight will give you a much higher maximum encumbrance but a fairly lower um, stamina restoration rate. I think I want more stamina restoration. Um, so in that case, I'd put yourself between somewhere between like 70 and 89. Does um, height do something then? I believe so. Let me check. Um, okay. okay. Uh, so character oh, weight is a, a factor that is determined by... Right. Okay. Height actively changes your fucking run speed. <laughs> okay. So it is oblivion. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, so if you're very tall, you're literally twenty five percent faster than base. Uh huh. 
<laughs> you know that about Oblivion, right? That the Oblivion speedrun yeah, uh -huh. uses the High Elf because it's the tallest race and is uh -huh. therefore faster. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, which is very good. Uh, there is uh, uh, one thing that smaller characters can do, which is like, you can kind of get underneath giant monsters' legs a little easier, oh but my uh, God. uh huh, that's the game. Sword Crash, they got longer legs. They've got a longer, uh, you know, foot foot step walk span. What whatever that's called. Therefore, they're faster. You you don't think that's how that works? <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's called realism. Oh boy. Listen, my partner is like. Five foot nothing flat, and I walk much faster than them because I'm almost six feet. Like, that's just a science. See? That's how it works. Uh, I mean, I don't think this really matters, but. Uh, yeah, like, honestly, you can just kind of go that? middle of the road, oh. and it's pretty much fine. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna see him. Okay. Whee! What is that walk? What are you doing with your arms? <laughs> oh, get used to some weird fucking animations what in this are you game. Doing? Dude, I mean, I'm assuming everyone has the same. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, got to pick a voice. God. You will not hear it very much. This is this is so Baldur's Gate. Oh yeah, they uh. They, I like they don't Star even have labels. Like Fuck in no. Baldur's Gate, they have like labels, right? They're and they're uh -huh. very funny labels. You know, they'll just be like scholar and like aggressive or something. You know, like sultry. It's clearly just like the descriptions they were given, the voice actors were given, and they're trying to just right. convey this one personality trait in all the lines. Uh, which is terrible and, and very funny. Uh, I don't, I don't care. Uh, I, uh, yeah, is there more details? Okay, there is. Yes. I was so like, yes. what now the fuck? Now you can fuck? make actual adjustments. Okay. Thank God. The, the one thing that I care about is generally hair. Because it's the yeah. most well, like, notable it, it... thing. Yeah. <laughs> It's the most notable thing. It, like, is an important thing for determining a silhouette. Yeah. Like, whenever there's, like, a, you know, million face sliders, I'm like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, no. I, I hit random a couple times, and that looks fine. I'm good. Uh, oh, I, I didn't think it was turning for some reason. They love these, like... Dark Souls has these, too. These, like, giant ponytails. Uh-huh. I don't really get that. It's such a high ponytail. That's going to hurt her scalp. Oh, good. All the, the quote Yeah, unquote. hair is not gender locked in this game. Yeah, it was like the quote unquote male styles are still in here. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that would have required extra coding and programming. That was not going to happen with this I game. I mean, you know, you would hope that that would be uh, reason enough, but obviously it is often there. Go to extra work. Oh, okay. It's still got, like, stuff like this. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of... Okay. Yeah, there's actually, like, a pretty wide variety of hairstyle. Um... Uh-huh. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Some of these are... A bit much. It's a pre-made Monster Factory episode. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm just I'm just gonna pick some stuff here. That's just how my eyes look in real life, just half asleep. <laughs> I think she's just skeptical. Skeptical and very sleepy. Okay, Star actually yeah, from the side she looks really sleepy. Not yeah, really. uh-huh. Okay. That's just me. Sure. Fucking she's sad. She just looks sad and quizzical. <laughs> that, 
that monster factory does not even come close to touching the jank of just playing this game normal. Can I just do this? No, okay, that was mine. I fucking love this game, dude. I'm so excited. This game rules. So, okay, I've just made, like, Pouty Ellen Page, which was not my intent. <laughs> Alright, we, we might need to change these eyes. Cause this is... oh. Uh, no, no. I think it's the... Is it the mouth? Is the mouth The mouth like... isn't helping. <laughs> uh, the mouth is really, like... That's a little better. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Ex yes. It, it's <laughs> Ellen Page in those press conferences, or, or you know, like press events with uh, with, with Willem Dafoe like, and like Mountain Dew ads in the background. Like <laughs> Willem Dafoe's face in those ads is so incredible. <laughs> Just I used to be a professional. I I imagine like. In when he when he did the lighthouse, he was just channeling that like, okay, I, I need to I need to feel desperation and utter loss. <laughs> like I need to remember what it was like to be <laughs> on that press tour. God, Beyond Two Souls is such dog shit. It's really bad. It's all. It is just like, uh, I. I, is it the actual worst one? It might be the worst one. Yeah. Just in terms of, like, pure competency. Detroit Become Human is wildly racist. I haven't, but yeah. Like, Detroit Become Human is the only one I haven't watched a playthrough of. Which, it, it is wildly racist. There is at least, he at least has understood how to string words together and scenes. Is... Okay. Yeah, it's so bad. I mean, Beyond Two Souls, like, one is it, it's like a like five games crammed into one, right? In a way that, like, I mean, I guess, like, Indigo Prophecy or Fahrenheit is also, like, several games crammed into one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all the games kind of are, but, like, Beyond Two Souls is the most Quantic Dream game, I feel like. It, it is the one with the most uh, it, games. It, it is the, uh, it, it is, like, the alchemic distillation <laughs> so of Quantic was... Dream. Oh my god, this is so horrible. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so if I, like... <laughs> Can I... No, it doesn't, like... <laughs> it, doesn't... it won't look... Dog, it's not gonna look better. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I thought it would maybe make you look... Like... Oh, this is so... This just... Jason, feels... will you stream Detroit if I buy it for you? No! I won't. I, I straight up <laughs> will not. The re I mean, like, the reason that I didn't watch a playthrough of it, well, well one is because most of the playthroughs I watched have been, um, like, the range touch playthroughs that um, Cameron and Danny did. Um, but yeah. the other reason is that uh, I... It's like, oh, Quantic Dream is it makes these, you know, horrible games that are train wrecks and they're and they're definitely, like, racist. Like, there's definitely racist shit in the fiction and, like, sexist and stuff. I, you know, was not aware of the conditions of, you know, the actual employees at Quantic Dream at that yeah. point. Uh, whereas I was by the time that, that uh, Detroit came out. And so I was like, I don't even want to, like... Um, but yeah, the, the thing I was going to say about, about uh, Beyond Two Souls is... So I mean, it's, like, got five games in, in, you know, kind of crammed together in it. And one of those games is Ellen Page hangs out with her child soldier sidekick. Mm -hmm. Which is, and, like, because that game has so much wild shit in it, that is not something that ever comes up in, like, uh, of, like, the popular, like, sort of references to that game. Because there's so much other shit in that game. <laughs> and so it's, like... <laughs> Just, just finding out that that is in that game as well is just uh -huh. like, what the uh, fuck? Okay, so one thing to notice. Um, so if you look down at the bottom, mm. there is height and weight. I'm, I'm seeing it. There is no way to directly control what height and weight is. Yeah. Also, I, I'm those are the that. numbers that determine those, uh, uh those stats. <sighs> you just have to fuck with. Uh, I just like, why is there not like a like? Uh huh. Not, it's not that I'm not asking for a height and weight slider. I mean, because the height was just, like, height, I guess. But um, I can't seem to make her 
wider. <laughs> like, uh -huh. she needs to... It can increase her height, but her width does not increase proportionally. So she just... I think a like... torso might be it. Torso or arms. I can't remember which one is shoulders. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. So I, say... I was like, her shoulders are... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this what? this fucking Captain what? America at looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm... Uh, uh, so, what I'll say, it looks better with the clothing and armor in this game. It will not look good. <laughs> Sorry, that killed me. Fuck. Uh -huh. I was not prepared for that. Uh-huh. Wow, you that... know, all this, all, you know, a lot of games have, like, way more uh, in-depth sliders than this, but, but I've never seen a game do that. Uh -huh. Here's the thing. It gives you discrete options and only discrete options, so you can see exactly how fucked your choices are. Yeah, oh my god. Like, why would you Why would you have arm length be a why, thing? Why would you have discrete arm length be a choice? <laughs> you can have 6 does, inch, or you does, can have 8 oh inch. Oh my god, hand, does that affect no the inch. reach of your weapons? Uh, height, in, in fact, affects your reach. No, okay, height... Arm length. I, I, I believe arm length... <laughs> I believe arm length might. I think arm length at least affects your height, but I'm not positive. Oh my god. That's so much. Uh-huh. Welcome. Welcome to the game. Wow, wow. You just have your, like, chest real pushed out there if you're inspired or imposing, rather. Uh... No, thank you. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, okay, so arm oh, effect, arms affect uh, character weight. Um, head size and height are, are all that affects character height. Head size. Oh, I uh -huh. didn't... I didn't. Uh, I don't think I saw a head size. Uh, I don't think there's, like, a discrete... I think it's uh, face shape it is oh. part of what... I, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, well... Uh-huh. Uh... Okay. Oh, this is neat. Wow. Okay, I'm actually surprised that this is not, like, a little more discreet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's... No, you have these six options. Like, we just have a full makeup set you are choosing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, I mean, how Monster Factory, how much can Monster Factory can do with this? Because, like, it's only, yeah. there's no sliders. And then it's like, oh, well, I mean, it's probably not very long, but also you get some real good content out of that, that short. Oh, yeah. The, like, the thing about a Monster Factory for this is, like, they've done it for you. They've already done it. The options are already there. They're made for you. All right. What kind of? play blondes oh this was already we already saw this in the other this is just mm -hmm. putting it here again yeah it is uh so that you have like all of the discrete options available at once uh oh is there is there no okay Star Crash, you have no idea how hard you have to try to make, like, a regular-looking person in this game. So, uh... See, well, here's the thing. You're gonna have to do this again. For? To, for your pawn. Oh, that's fine. I don't care what they look like. Okay. I, I, just, I just wanted you to know there will be a second character you will have to make. Oh, boy. That's fine. Uh, sure, they look relatively... Like a person, 
and not like a horrifying monstrosity. Yeah. Okay. Please stop here. Game. Let me. Okay. I'm trying to read it. Nope. Absolutely I got like not. halfway through. <laughs> um. So what I'll say is most of the things that would be on there uh, is <laughs> not. Really does not want me to to know what's going on. It, the, the thing is, the game loads too fast. On PS3, yeah. you had plenty of time to read that. Yeah, yeah. This obviously now, or I mean, for, this is not even a recent thing, obviously, but games would, with text like that would, like, load and then have a button that says continue when the loading mm -hmm. is done. That's future yeah. proof. Oh, that's me! Yeah, it's you. Okay. Yeah. I don't look any worse than any of the other people. No, everybody looks bad in this game. <laughs> really leaning into the medieval uh, the medieval world where everybody just kind of looked like shit all the time. I mean, that's that's uh, that's fair. We didn't have, they didn't have Black magic. Black and Dental will do that. You know. Hey! <laughs> that's probably fine. Uh, they look like they're about six feet from each other. Yeah, they're literally right next to each other. It's like, uh -huh. ah, like you're, it looks like you're like waving over a crowd. It's the dragon. Oh. Sort of the opposite of Monster Hunter World, where you have to try really hard to make someone ugly. I don't remember what Monster Hunter World character creation is like, but that. Um, it's kind of really narrow, and everybody looks really pretty, for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I don't even remember, like, spending time in that character creation. I'm sure I did, somewhat, but... Alright. What's up? It's the dragon! Yep, looks like a dragon. He's, uh, yep, okay, he's got, got, he's got six limbs. True uh -huh, dragon. Sure does! Yes, it, it is. It is very much a conscious choice to have uh, the dragon be like uh, a, a red dragon as fire dragon. breathing. Yeah, like there is intentional yeah. decision making happening there. Uh, this is a call to adventure. Uh huh. Just that dude gets bodied across the camera. <laughs> Fucking dead. All of them just dead yeah. as shit. Should've run faster. Oh, fuck! Whoa. <laughs> I hope I'm dead. I hope I'm just fucking dead. So... The way that fight normally goes is basically that. You just immediately get bodied at the first moment because it's a fucking dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had about, like, literally a second to get out of the way to start running. Because uh -huh. I did start running, but it's just like the fire is obviously cone, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, yeah, like... it doesn't quite happen like that most of the time. Um... Okay, I turned I turned subtitles on, but apparently he's he is not speaking English. Oh, oh, I thought he was, but yeah, I couldn't understand what he's saying, so that's why he's speaking draconic. Uh, I should have taken that in my oh, I haven't had character my skill creation yet. Oh, don't don't oh no, seems bad. Hey, so remember how you were like, uh, I wanted I hope I'm fucking dead. Uh. Dragon's got your fucking heart. This, uh, oh, okay. Uh, mm, I don't. Hmm. What's up? Okay. All right. I guess I don't need that. Starcraft says, you need that. Clearly, clearly the dragon needs it more than you do. I mean, I'm, I'm still, uh, like, moving, so clearly I didn't need it that much. Yeah. 
It's fine. I, I do love your character just being like, Hey, give that back. I was using that. It does fucking rule that the dragon just, like, pokes you in the chest and your heart just comes straight the fuck out. He's, uh, he's practiced, clearly. It's, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's done that before. It's probably fine. I'm guessing it is part of the, uh, the dogma of, of said dragon. Oh, oh, yeah, right, right. So, this is going to be uh, your initial character selection uh, process. Do you want to sword and board? Do you want to be a uh, rogue with daggers and a bow? Or do you want to be a wizard? <clears throat> Those are the three options. Uh, there are more options later, but as of right now, yeah, those are the three options. Uh, okay. You can switch freely uh, in the future, um, but this is just what uh, to start with. In general, I would say starting out, um, oh. fighter is a little bit easier. Um, Strike. You have a sh yeah, that's rogue, basically. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's clearly a ranger. Uh, no, so it's not, because the ranger is a different class that you unlock later. The class with that starts with a bow and that is called Strider is not the ranger. No, because the class that's the ranger is ranger. <laughs> like, I've read Lord of the Rings. Uh... Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, and then Mage. Um, so Mage does have a lot of neat utility. Um, like they have things like, uh, healing oh, I spells. see. These are basic, oh, these are basic jobs, so I gotta unlock the advanced yes. jobs. Yes. <laughs> okay. um, I love vocation as the word for class, just like job mm -hmm. as the word for class. I think it's really It's neat. good. Uh, uh, so what I would say, uh, you're, it is not long before you'll be able to just swap between, uh, all three of these at will. Okay. Um, this is just to start off with, um. Fighter is generally the easiest one to start off with, at least until uh, you unlock your pawn. Uh, just because you're right. really squishy as a mage right. uh, and that don't have sense. a meat shield. That makes sense. Uh, let me see what this says here. Yeah, so this is like the basic skills you start with. Uh, shield summon is basically a oh, taunt. Oh, it's a taunt? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I saw this in the tutorial and I was like... I can summon things with my shield? <laughs> no, it, it, you, you summon their focus, their attention. Oh, whoops. No, no, I wanted to hit details. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so, Strider does have a uh, an interesting oh. um, utility oh. in that they are, uh, excuse me, they're a class that is meant uh, in part for climbing on the back of enemies and climbing to weak points. Um, so that first ability that you see there, Scarlet Kisses, is, uh, basically as long as you hold the button or mash the button, I can't remember which, you keep slashing, and you can do that while you're climbing on the enemy. So you can just dump stamina and do a shit ton of damage on a weak point. Huh. Alright, but we can, we can switch these. Yeah, you can switch these at will. Okay. Uh, it... it it just costs a, uh, a form of XP to unlock, but once you unlock it, you can just swap it well. Oh, interesting. Do you gain XP in, like, the classes? Yeah, so you gain um, a, a thing called class points, I think it is, uh, and you spend those to unlock both skills and other classes. Okay, huh. Do you are the do the advanced evocations have prerequisites? I don't believe so. Uh, let me actually check. Okay. 
Um, what I will say is that like class ranks go up to 10. So like any prerequisites that they do have are fairly low. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, normally in these games, I mean, well, it's hard to tell in this game because it's hard to tell at this point how much of this, how am I going to feel on this on like a, a dark, a dark souls to a traditional RPG sort of character feeling about, uh, what I'm comfortable <clears throat> doing. Because mm -hmm. uh, in a traditional RPG, I would definitely just want to be an archer. That's uh, Or a mage, so, but, but often an archer. Uh, archer is absolutely viable in this game. Archer is like actually sick. You get a bunch of really strong abilities. Um, they are like a playstyle that a lot of times requires uh, pretty careful stamina management. Because sure. you are just basically dumping stamina for damage. Um, but you can hit weak points really easily, uh, and it's a lot about, like, positioning and aiming. Um, it is kind of Dark Souls aiming, but if you had better movement options. Uh, normally when I play, I play, like, an archer uh, rogue. Uh, I think that way is fun, but it is up to you, and obviously you can swap between them as you will. Oh, yeah, I mean, might as well start off with this one just so I get, because I have no mm -hmm. idea, I've had... Definitely was like that combat, you know, the tutorial section was just like, uh, did not, not get a lot out of that. I think what, what is, okay. Water. Mm -hmm. Plants. Okay. That was the poison thing. Oh, my. Okay. Is that leaving the building? Oh. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not there anymore. That's probably fine. Yeah, I'm liking this character. I'm liking this look here in these cutscenes. Yeah. what you said uh, -huh. uh i want to go back in here though sorry <laughs> i didn't realize i was turning a cutscene. i'm still exploring uh, there's not a ton of importance in here no i know i just wanted to mm -hmm. okay nope that was it all right all right okay okay what do you what do you got you should be a bed i wish you would not stay in your no i'm pretty sure i'm fine I'm worried for you. oh you're my cousin I don't believe so, because uh, as in like the oh, like an old version of like friend or comrade, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like those cutscenes were not cousinly. Uh... No. <laughs> Flasks are super useful. Um, so, uh, first things first, you do not want to pick up everything. <laughs> Are you sure? I was like, oh man, this is an yes. RPG. I gotta yeah. pick everything so up. Hit, hit select. <laughs> because of my, my, my carrying capacity. Um, yes. Your light. carrying capacity is uh, very rapidly going to fill up, and you do not need 95% of items that exist in the world. A simple item like, might be thrown to make noise. I can distract. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so I do not believe there is any way to actually throw it. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh, it inflicts uh, stretching. It oh, maybe you can throw it. Okay, yeah, you can hold it and then throw it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Let's play a, a, play a funny prank. <laughs> oh. What? Uh... <laughs> Uh, did you? What'd you do? Saving. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I was looking away for a second. What? What? What happened? <laughs> I threw the jug at her, and then she ran out. Oh, she's fine. <laughs> I was like, uh. Mm. I don't. 
believe that broke anything. You're probably good. Mm. So, a couple things you should pretty much always pick up whenever you see them. Uh, empty flasks. Grass. Any form of greenware-ish. And uh, 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 Mithridite. Uh, which is like the anti yeah. stuff. I, uh, I always gotta pick up my weeds. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I need to get some clothes that are not yellow. Brooms. What? Cloud wine? I'm sure I need that. Cloud wine, I think, is actually pretty good. Uh, I believe it is a really good healing item. Some items can be combined with others. Okay. Experiment. Just great. Jay says, and brooms. Grab all the brooms. So you should do that. Uh, you will not use them for anything. I want to be clear. They are literally useless, uh, but it would be funny. I was really um, hoping you were going to tell me some secret use of brooms. Fuck no. No, there is literally nothing you can ever do with brooms. Uh, I don't think you can even combine them. They're literally just inventory dead weight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, uh, wait, okay, this is that sign showing me. So that's what, what you have equipped right now. Okay, so I have I have a shitty a shittier shirt that I'm not wearing. Mhm. Mm so pretty soon you'll have access to uh, the DLC equipment, which will be fine for a while. Okay. You can oh, throw can you throw brooms? brooms? <laughs> you can actually, man. Once I filled my inventory, and had to empty <laughs> all of the shit. Uh... Oh, it's my house. Great. Mm -hmm. Interventive. That sounds that sounds good. I love. Yeah, to it's, have, it's uh... some potion shit. It's probably useful. Oh yeah, eyedropper. I don't know why I had to break into my own. Uh... Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, nothing in there. Carrots. Uh, taking food in general is pretty good, because um, food is again a thing that can heal you, a thing that can restore your stamina. However, food is perishable in this game. But is it perishable? I'm guessing it's not perishable if I just leave it there. Correct. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. What stood against the dragon when he set on the village? Yes. I hear fearsome tell of your wounds. Is there all I can do for you? Well, apparently not, because I, I don't have a way to respond to that. You will often not have a way to respond. <laughs> oh, yeah, he calls me cousin, too. I guess we're, we're all cousins. Or he actually is my cousin, I don't know. This is awful. It's unclear. I simply cannot fathom why the dragon would harass a people such as us. Yeah, what what's in it for the dragon? You you got the right idea. This is awful. That is a very good question. I'm I, I don't think it's important though. We probably don't need to think about that ever. Don't worry about it. Is what I'm saying. I like this village. Yeah, it's actually, like, a neat village. It, like, it just... for all of its weird clockworkiness, it does feel like a place where people live. It looks, uh, it's just, like, it's not the usual style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's, like, of, uh, like um... a village in these games look like, but it is a completely, like, real-looking thing. Yeah, it, it's really interesting to see. Um... Uh, it, it, it's not like a, a, so the buildings are obviously not Pueblo designed um, but like they have like that same kind of silhouette um, yeah, where I they're mean, like they're, kind of uh, short and squat and located on a, a, right, a hillside I mean, like clay brick or whatever like they're yeah okay so this is an inn inns are some of the most important places in the game they have or places where you can store your items uh, where you can rest, and eventually where you can change classes. Okay. Um, they oh, also wow. have that right there, short. which is the notice board. 
Of course they do. This is where you can get, uh, like, small mini side quests, huh? which are often incredibly important for side quests. There's no reason you would ever know for some of these. And often, they'll disappear if you complete the wrong quest too quickly. Of course. Uh, so it's worth just grabbing all of those at once. Eventually you'll complete them or not, and they're a good way to get gold. And XP. Oh, I can grab them all. Yeah. I don't believe there's a sing like anything close to a uh, quest limit. All right. Uh, Starcrash says, yeah, much more so than, like, Bioware games where I'm always like, bitch, you live like this? Yeah. Um, I mean, God, yeah, this just looks better than, like, an yeah, Elder it, Scrolls game. Uh, yes, yeah, there, there's, like, a very real sense of space here. Yeah. Um, and I think part of it is uh, because it is, is a space that is designed to be moved about in third person, which is just fundamentally not the case of any modern Elder Scrolls game. Yeah. Like, Like, this space being designed to be a space you see a person move around in, like a ostensibly regular person, um, uh, means that it the, um, can have, the like, these narrow... going on a ladder is mounting it, which is, uh -huh. which is good. Um, yeah, like, I really like that, like, blind stairway right there. Like, it's just neat. Oh, I just keep running into cutscenes. Please climb on a cow. Oh god, can I grab a clack cow? It's worth a shot. Oh, oh, hi! <laughs> That's probably fine. Who are you waving at? Me? He's of the Pawn Legion. I I wasn't speaking with anyone. They come from some unknown place. Just Listen, don't worry about it. They are a strange lot. Okay, yeah, they're like so many creatures in D and D. Not human, quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack um, mm, mm, I I don't know about that part. They have no capacity to I have. Uh, so, Starcrash, did you do the Celine quest? Because that, well, that well, will they're... impact um, your feelings on the pawn stuff a lot, I think. Um, I think folks are very much in the right to dislike a lot of the pawn stuff. I think the game tries to do something with it. Um, It is one of the reasons why I'm going to be like, hey, so you have to go do this quest before we hit X point so that we can make sure to hit this. Oh, okay. Uh, so, of NPCs. Uh, so Star Crash, in that case, um, what right. I will say is... Oh my god. I... Yeah, you can absolutely climb on the cow! Okay. Uh, what I will say is you are absolutely in the right to be weirded out by it, and it does engage with the fact that it's weird as fuck. Um... <laughs> In a lot of ways. But not until, like, much, much later in the game. Also, is he, is he like, okay, he's with me. Yeah, he's just gonna follow you. Alright, everybody's got these, uh, like, lamps. Mm -hmm. Like, like, those kind They're of cute, I like them a lot. Like, they're just a neat little touch. Um, instead of, like, candles or lanterns, like, yeah, I mean, there uh, are ceramic candles, lamps. But... Right, but, like, the, the fact uh, that there's, yeah. like... Additional. This consistent visual uh, touch is neat. I mean, yeah, I think what this um, looks like a lot is like, and what I'm assuming it's inspired by, based on like some of the names and stuff, is um, mm -hmm. like Spain, like like medieval. Yeah, I, I think that's actually like a pretty uh, good touchstone. Southern Spain, so like, which is obviously coming out of uh, um, the. Various caliphate, you know, Muslim controlled mm -hmm. uh, areas. Uh, I guess actually, it is it is Muslim controlled during the Middle Ages because the Reconquista is like the beginning of the early modern era, basically. Uh, 
-hmm. or, or very close to it. It's in the 1400s. That sounds about right, yeah. Uh, because, of course, the money from killing everyone and dispossessing them in the 1400s uh, is what led, leads Isabel and Ferdinand to have so much money that when a fucking uh, Genoese madman shows up telling them these crazy stories about how he's going to sail to India by crossing the Atlantic, uh, and all their advisors say... <laughs> No, he's an idiot. That's not how the world works. Yeah, that's that. No, he's an idiot. We, you can't do that. They're like, yeah, but we have so much fucking money right now. Like, eh, fuck it. Maybe he'll leave us alone. Maybe, like, you know, it's not that much of an investment for us. And if and if it works, we'll be even richer. Worst case scenario, he dies. He stops asking us for money. Problem solved. I like that there there's a whole bunch of like there's you know like 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 royal court records about mm -hmm. this because he, he went to the court of portugal first and they, they had the same basically thing. told him to fuck off right yeah yeah well they they, they go to their advisors and they're like yeah this guy's nuts like this guy has no idea what he's talking about uh he's this is ridiculous and they're like yeah no we're we're good we're we're sailing down the coast of africa we're we're we think we got this we think we're we got to we figured this out. Uh, and then he goes to, to Isabel and Ferdinand, and they're like, and their advisors say the exact same thing. Uh, but mm -hmm. Isabel and Ferdinand don't have, they're like, well, we really want to get to Asia. Portugal's already going down Africa. There I've got a head start on us. You know, we can't, the whole problem is that, that uh, those fucking Italians have a, a monopoly on trade with the, uh, with the Ottomans. Mm -hmm. that trade route so like we don't really have any other routes to get access to all this this indian and chinese uh goods why don't you see them please so like well i guess we'll just we'll just try it you know let's you know eh, lose some money if it, if it doesn't work you know and some men uh but we mm -hmm. don't really care uh and then <laughs> Of course, I like that, uh, like, Columbus was like, and if I find anything, I'm going to be, I, you are going to appoint me, like, the, the royal governor, hereditary royal governor for life for every land that I find. And then was like, sure, buddy. Sure. Uh, okay, whatever. And then he finds, you know, what eventually figured out is, is two continents, so they don't figure that up for, I mean, he dies thinking he's still in fucking India. Uh, and God, they, they just, they never him. gave him any of it. They're just mm -hmm. like... Uh, not that he went to anyone better, obviously, but uh, at least he was. But hey, at least fuck that guy. Yeah. yeah. What? Are you telling me there's well, a secret he... room? Uh, I don't actually know. <laughs> there's another room here. Uh... So the thing about pawns is, um, are they are they? Secret? They learn. They learn as you uh, explore in the game. Uh, the thing is, and then your pawn can go to the other uh, or to other players' worlds, taking their knowledge right. with them and teach their pawns. The thing is, when you get pawns, at first they know literally nothing, oh. and so they will just spout the same nonsense constantly. There's talk of monsters emerging from the shallows all along the shore. Uh huh. Nasty. Bride. Seems this bride can be better. Yeah, I Water Browner will be an instant Witcher. kill. Oh. It, oh. Like, it, it, you cannot swim. Water will be an instant kill. Okay, okay. This is like, yeah, one of those games. Okay, what, what were yes. my... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what were my things here? Defeat bandits, goblins, uh, mice, rabbits. Upon a pawn is the, uh, the yeah. main story quest. Right. We should actually set that. The pawn encampment. This is just an encampment full of these. Not quite. <laughs> this is very weird. Uh huh. Also, I really I need to go find uh, uh, the healer lady. 
I want to make sure that that's fine. That's what I was actually uh, looking for. The healer lady? Mm -hmm. The the one who was helping you out? Uh, the one Kina? I threw a bucket at, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like, I want to make sure we're cool. Um, this is a merchant. Because people right. actually have, like, uh, actual um, patterns, if I remember right. I'm trying to remember mm. where she goes. I'm s oh, I... Do I have... I have money. Wow. Assuming that's my money? Hmm. Oh, capes. There's a cape slot. Ooh. There is a cape slot, yes. All right. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, she should not have left the village yet. I don't really have a sense of where I've been and where I haven't been, or a very good sense, so. Because the uh, buildings do all kind of look the same. Uh, they do, yeah. Uh, you should be able to just move forward. Um, it's probably I fine. I believe it is, um, because there is a trigger that happens later where her not being in a specific spot should be fine. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you should be good to move forward. Okay. Game's like, you should you should go do the main quest. I'm like, well, I don't wanna. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, well, no. Nope. I not see that part? Oh, no, you're just, you're just reminding me. Yeah, so... Yellow is, um, there is more it's information here that you haven't seen before. Red is just, hey, this is just things you've already heard before. You just gotta explore. To enter someone's home unbidden. Mm, I, should I not? Fuck off, Rook. No, it's fine. <laughs> There's no repercussions for it. <laughs> <laughs> Some like oh right, we did have a dragon attack, right. It's like why are these burned yes. out buildings? Oh oh right, there there was you know, Right, the thing that's that ate my heart. Yeah. <laughs> you throw a rook into the water. Hmm. You can. That seems like a bad idea. Uh I mean I would probably not recommend it, but you know. Uh okay. Is there like a is there a bigger map? I believe so. You might not. Uh, try hitting start. Oh, yeah. Map. It's just on there. Okay. Uh, okay. So I gotta go probably that way. But let me look here. Throw well, a rook at your probably... cousin. Well, that's the chief's house. I believe she has her own house. I don't know that she has a... Uh... Mm -hmm. It's not any of these. I don't remember what her name is, but I remember seeing... Uh, it. Kina. Kina, that's Q -U -I -N -A. right. I was like, it's, I remember it's not any of these names. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's like I would. I, I'm pretty sure I would remember it if I saw it again. That's the barn. All right. Well, apparently not any of these places uh, that are labeled on the map. Oh, it looks like she doesn't have a house labeled on the map. Um, I'm just looking at the map right now. So where am I supposed to go? So uh, the uh, here. Okay, so yeah, Hina does live in the the chief's house, that first place. Um, oh, which is the place she ran out of because I threw a bucket yeah. at her. She will likely just respawn back there. Okay. Um, if she has despawned. Um, okay. Could uh, okay. Um, no other. Let's try and get back there real quick. Let's just go check. Let's make sure things are good. Okay. Be like, sorry, I threw a bucket at you. <laughs> I was just, I was just testing out my limbs. You know, I got, I got my heart ripped. <laughs> I, out. I was just, I was stretching. 
I just, you know, gotta make sure that I, I still got my strength in me. I think this is the house. Is this the chief's dwelling, then? Yeah, it's the chief's dwelling. Yeah, there she is. Oh, wait, maybe not. Longevity can seem a curse when it means... Uh... Well, yeah, whatever, buddy. I want Thanks, bud. Alright. Just, just having a siesta. Uh, yeah, she's not here, but... She might be through the, uh, uh other room. Is there... Oh, oh, wait. The left. And there's another one through the curtain right there. Uh... Looks like she's not here. You could always, um, unload and reload. Mm. Or, like, uh, save and reload. See if that respawns her. Uh... So, what I will tell you is there is a flag that happens, um, a little bit down the way that is her uh disappearing from the village so that should repop her even if she disappeared for some reason um, <laughs> to, to have her she disappear didn't again uh, yeah exactly okay um okay she doesn't because i don't believe she died um so you should be fine no she ran out of the building yeah because i threw a bucket at her so we should be fine <laughs> She was like, she put her head, arms over her head and ran out, which is, which is an understandable reaction, I suppose. Uh, I just wasn't expecting what. This path should see us there. Where are you going? He's leading the way. Hmm, I don't think you're supposed to lead. I thought you were a follower. I'm a leader. Dragon's dog. So, fun thing, uh,. Uh, you're going to want to run to save him. Uh, be careful when you slash, because you can kill him as you oh slash recklessly. God. Uh. Oh, oh, I'm, trying. I'm trying to get around. Okay, I can't, you know, i got a tree in my way here. Uh, so what you can do what too is you can... What the fuck are you doing? Uh, what's his name? Oh, no, I have a... What? Wait, did he... Make my sword a flaming sword? Uh, he did, yes. Uh, so that is one of the things mages can do, is they have... Is he a mage? Give... Oh, I guess he's a mage. Yes, Rook is a mage, yep. Okay, um, okay. So you will, in general, always want at least one mage in your party, uh -huh. uh, because you will want the buffs that they can give you. Uh, doing the correct elemental damage is very useful. What's this? What did you what did you pick up? Uh, so you can actually go to his inventory to see. Uh, go back to the inventory screen. Oh, uh, it's actually a, yeah that one. Right. Uh, if you hit RB. Oh, he picked up. Well, I don't think that's what he picked up. Oh, I think this is what he picked. That's up. That's what he picked up. Mm -hmm. The former property Ruben of a said. goblin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. It's fine, don't worry about yeah, it. He's got a staff. He's got some a brigadine jerkin. Yeah, see, his armor is probably, I think, better than mine. So that's why I was kind of confused. His armor is better than yours, but that's because you're wearing a t-shirt. Yeah, I was like, he's a mage. Why He doesn't need armor if he's a mage. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't inhibit being a mage outside of kind of slowing down your stamina regen. Hey, buddy. You can very much be a wizard in just full armor. Mm -hmm. uh, so you cannot take his equipment. Oh, it's like, I'll give you my shirt and you give me that. No, so he is not technically your pawn. He is considered a visiting pawn. Oh, so you cannot take their equipment. This of course. Will have us to be in tablet air much longer. We're just going for a stroll. Wow, look at that staff. It is like a like real like the enemy proved too powerful. noble cane on top energy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just going for a stroll. <laughs> He's walking faster than me. He's a little impatient. Uh-huh. 
He's just a little bit taller than you, so he jogs just a little bit faster. Plants and other materials at harvest points. Oh, I got kindling out of the tree. All right, mm -hmm. and a rock. Oh boy, I can throw a rock at something. I believe you can. I think those are actually both used uh, for crafting more than anything else. Oh, I wanted to kill or croc someone. I mean, you probably can. Fucking look, look at her weird ass uh, uh, walk animation, just oh, like sorry. weirdly bow legged. Flask of oil. So, fun thing you can do with flask of oil. You know how Rook can give you fire, uh, uh, fire on your sword. Yeah. You can. It is absolutely a thing you can do where you can throw oil on people and then set them on fire. Where's my, uh, where's my rock? Uh, I believe it is going to be under the last one. Um, uh, materials maybe? Yeah, it wasn't in there. No. Uh, not tools. Did he get it somehow? He might have got it. He's got a moldy berry. There it he is. Yeah, he rock. picked it up. It might be thrown. Can I take this? Yes. So you can't take equipment, but you can take and give anything else. Right. There we go. Use fire on the next enemy, says Star Crash. Palisade here. Stockade. Mm -hmm. We've arrived, Master. Yep. Like, yeah. So, uh, one thing to know about this game. Night oh. is incredibly fucking dangerous. Like, okay. d like, actively impeding your progress, dangerous because of how fucking murdered you will get. Okay. <laughs> People seldom venture out at night. That's the loading screen tip. Yeah, it, it is one of those things where it's like, oh, you don't make See, that journey unless you have to. You look like a mage. You got mm -hmm. a pointy hat. Pointy hat equals mage. That's true. That is how it's decided. You are a fancy warrior. She is a real character, I believe. Oh. Not a pawn. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is Mercedes. Oh, hey, it's that stone. Yeah, sure is. If you've forgotten where you are in the story, Slate Chronicle, please give me a... Uh, wait, where is it? History. I just want to, like, mug the camera that I don't have. Oh, the, wait. Uh, I think it's under history, isn't it? Well, if it is, this is not helpful. You'll say that a lot about things in this game. I I thought it was going to give me, you know, like an actual story recap. Uh, it might be on... Um, I don't know where the fuck it is, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Where is it? And there hasn't really been a lot. No, but it'd be useful to know just for the future. Tyranny has a thing where, like, you can... You can pull up. There's a tab in the in the the menus that's like your your journal or whatever, and it is just like an auto generated. I mean, you know, it's auto generated off of obviously like like pre written snippets and stuff. But it's just like right. paragraphs and paragraphs of like everything that has happened and like description, like story written out of like like first person written of the quests that you have in like done done, and like and then I did this and then, and it's like. I've never read it. I just, like, skimmed through it once. I was like, what the fuck? Who put this? Like, why did they put this in the game? Oh, <laughs> this God. is so weird. Times are hard indeed. Uh... <laughs> I'm like, what am I? I'm, I'm looking for somebody. What, what am I? Approach the voice. Okay. 
Oh, I see. It doesn't. It doesn't auto select the like new main quest. No, it does not. Of course, it doesn't. Uh, oh, oh, uh -huh. oh! This is here. It that is. would be convenient. That, yes. There's the rock. All right. Hey, who are you? Got a fancy shirt on. Have all you need. We are an inn first and foremost. Oh, of course. You're you're a rich person. That's why. Learn or set skills. Learn skills. Oh. So discipline is the uh, uh, current or is the like experience points you use to both buy skills and to um, uh, unlock new classes. Okay, but I can't learn new classes here. No, not at this end. You need to get to the next end before the lecture. All right. Cool. Yep. Yep. I got. It. I got it, buddy. Oh, what's in here? Interest a war bugle. That's probably fine. Sure, yeah. Let let's get many war bugles. Dragon spit. That actually seems warlock's draft. Okay. Okay. This is really weird. The way that like mm -hmm. you don't like you don't actually see what's in the container. You're just like uh, you just just start poking around, and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. That's really fascinating. Rook's just like, hey, 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 the main plot. <laughs> There's a giant Can magic the plot? rock here. Do you want to pay attention to that? I'm like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to. And meanwhile, kid's like, I would like to pick up some random alcohol off the ground, please. <laughs> oh, the rock's talking to me. Hmm. It's probably fine. Oh, it's a rock phone. I don't know that I possess that strong of a will. If you would claim to be among the arisen, oh. Prove the oh. Of your resolve. <laughs> what if I say <laughs> I don't know. I've never said no. <laughs> As you wish. A well, that's what I figured. It just Oh, cool. We'll just chill here then. That's fine. <laughs> So, so I was like, I'm assuming this is one of those where it's like, okay, and then we'll just wait for you to come back and say yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured it would be. Uh, the, you, you haven't told me what the fucking Arisen is supposed to be. Rock. Sure haven't. Because you mean like Arisen again? Like undead? Cause yeah, I got my heart ripped out. Mhm. Mm yeah, I think you I did. Count. Uh, search the area. Great. Uh, yeah. What? What? Until you find a threat that must be quelled. Okay. What do you think I'm fucking doing? Yeah, I guess he's like picking up useful things. He's picking up a yeah, he's picking up a fucking okay healing items. That's good. Yeah, so they will learn what things to pick up from watching you pick them up. Oh, that's um, not good. So I mean, so it just means that like sometimes <laughs> you might need to, to empty their inventory, but in general, they're pretty good about picking up things that are actually <laughs> it's like useful. He's just gonna pick up everything. I mean, he is mostly just picking up healing items right now. Yeah. I picked up a rock. Like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Picked up another rock. <laughs> well, it is nice that they will just help you. Uh... I did not realize. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I had no idea what these pawns like. That they that had is this a kind of like there. black and white shit going on. Yep. Oh, uh huh. Just... Yes. Oh, the first journal entry. Go see where there it is. Uh, okay. Uh, the beast turned into a blah, blah, blah. Is that is that it? 
that it's just gonna fit in that box. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I you know I guess that's gonna limit the reading. Mm hmm. Hey, there's a sword and a shield. Not for you though. No, apparently not. Uh, that's, that's rock. Oh, uh, go back to him again. Uh, I think you might be able to access them again. Uh, go to manage stored items. Uh, withdraw. Uh, so. First things first. Oh, no, damn it. We'll let you take those lifts. You don't need those lift stones yet. Uh, do not need that either. Incense. No, I don't think I need that. Whoa. This is what you want. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. So, there is a bunch of gear that was uh, given These in... terrible. Um, okay, this one's probably fine. UTR is okay. Uh, UTR is also probably the best equipment-wise. Uh, yeah, look at all these. Okay, these are all the, the classes I see. Uh-huh. And I see, like, the coloring. Uh, how that mm -hmm. is, like, base. Yeah, uh, so you've got the advanced versions of the basic classes, which are... Uh, uh, warrior, um, ranger, and sorcerer, and then you've got the uh, hybrid classes, which are assassin, which is um, the strider fighter yeah. assassin or er, er, combo, uh, magic archer, which is strider mage, and mystic knight, which is mage fighter. Not not uh, uh, arcane archer and um, no what you, no shut up knight. no shut up shut up it's not the same. Oh it's yes! Different. Oh, sweet. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take all this. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't care about this. Uh, what That's the hell fair. is this? Uh, it's arm gear. So oh, might as well oh, grab it. I've it's got, an empty Okay, slot. sure. Oh, I don't have any light. And then pants or go to rings. This is the very important one. So you're going to want to go to, for right now, Swordsman Ring. Uh-huh. Um, so it makes your dash attack way better. It Play makes Noble. It... I hear that class is fucking OP as shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh... um, so that uh, ring makes your dash attack way faster and deal way more damage. Okay, so that is with these again this is like dark souls where it's got the the inventory and the the equipment on, or like equipped items on like two different things uh, mm -hmm. except this is also your inventory so oh right yeah because i do have to go over here right yeah okay oh that looks cool uh nope oh that's my oh that's my ripped open shirt that uh -huh. i still have on me listen Sometimes you just want to chill with titties out. Okay. Uh, is this saying I can't wear so, pants? Uh, no, it's saying you can't wear it at all. Uh, it is not for fighters. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, but the features. other ones are for everyone, but that one's not. Yes. Oh. Yep. Um, I like, so, I that one's items... The coolest. Uh, so, if you scroll over items, uh, you'll see how they say armor in that slot. Uh -huh. That is um, the slot it fills. There is armor and there is clothing, so you will can actually have clothing on underneath. Um, oh, really? Yes. So I believe if you equip that set of fisherman hat, oh no, because it's a full outfit. Yeah. Um, never mind. It's like counts as both. But like, somehow. eventually you can have just a shirt on underneath there. <laughs> oh, I have a cape. I just wasn't wearing. Yep. It. You got one from rescuing uh, the peddler. Well, I don't really like either of these, but they're, I'm sure they're better than a shirt. Much, much better than a shirt. Well, stat-wise, I know. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out my fashion here. I see. Yeah, we're going to have to really work on this, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh... 
Oh, that was it. I just needed to walk out here. Okay. <laughs> just need to walk through the doorway. Uh-huh. Uh, what? There may be prowling monsters about. Uh, uh Where? No, I don't believe you need to leave. Oh. Did it, did it do the thing again? No? Uh, maybe, oh, maybe you do. Uh, if you've got a quest marker, follow the quest why, marker. Why can I not? Okay, there we go. Here we go. Oh, that, okay, that's, that's earlier ones, okay. Uh, well, let's go to the map. Uh, I think that's the quest marker. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, no, that's where you should go. Sorry. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different thing. Yeah, you should leave. Traveling merchants sometimes offer especially rare goods. Right. Uh, I, I forgot about this part. Music is, is going. Oh. Oh. They have a cave troll. Cyclops. Cave troll. Just tell it you're nobody. I know that works out. Mm, well, I mean. I, I mean, yeah, I guess it did kind of work out. Oh, okay, hey, so know. I see you figured out the game. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, uh, oh, whoops, wrong button. No, no, uh, where am I? Oh, I'm on the arm, okay. Yep, okay. So when he's okay. flailing around like that, uh, it can be hard for you to actually, uh, uh, -huh. uh move. Yep, oh, oh god, I got, I got uh, smacked off. You ran out of stress, and er, er, stamina, and uh -huh. that is why you fell. Okay. Oh god. Nope. Oh, okay. That's that's great. Oh, okay. I'm trying to. Okay. Oh, I don't have the. I don't have stamina. For this thing. So what I would say is, in general, right now, you don't really have the stamina to climb up his whole body. You can just oh. like slash at him. I just want to go poke him in the eye. Uh, you can eventually, but at level one, not nah, really. Uh, oops. That's not what I wanted. No. What? <laughs> what are you doing? All right, buddy. Uh, oh. And now you can go hit it in the face. Well, it's it's head is uh Well, maybe you can't. In a rock. Rook, why are you doing this? You're a fucking mage. Listen. Rook a real one. Rook just wanna go ape shit. You gonna go throw a fireball in its eye? Because I think you, you can do that from a range. All right, there we go. Oh my god! Go. You can jump with A, by the way. I know. I realized that as I was doing. It. I was like, oh, too late. Yeah. Like, did you see how much more damage your blink strike is doing just that than just your like regular attack? Yeah. person who summoned the monster that's probably is fine it a, is it a Asian? yeah, yeah uh-huh exactly <laughs> fucking what's his name <laughs> i don't remember their names i i had to really struggle to remember Asian. i was like oh yeah they're like asses <laughs> i was about to say they're called Asians because their plot is ass Uh, so you can go back to the rift. 
No, we should not search the area. Rook. He's helping. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yep. I definitely was very helpful in this. Oh, okay, now we're on the character creation screen. Uh-huh. All right. Do it again! All right. Uh, oh, I gotta name them. I don't know what to name my... There's no random names. No, they demand that you make one up. Be creative. You can always do what I do and just, uh... Go through monikers until I find one, or like, eh, that's fine. Aki. Wow. Well, no. You guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the reason you can choose a moniker for your player character, because they just wanted to reuse the same menu for a pawn. Sure. <laughs> so what I would say is picking somebody tall and heavy is probably not a bad idea, just so uh -huh. that they have more encumbrance for you to offload shit onto. Alright, gotta give him some different hair. just want to make a monster. The head is so small. <laughs> this is no. I can't. It's too... I have a big it's... head and tiny it's... arms. It's too... <laughs> Wait, hold up. Go full short. Go full no. short. It's too, it's too fucked up. I can't do it. It's really frustrating. It's character creator. It's fun. Like, it's terrible. I love it. So, uh, what I would say is, you can also change your pawn's vocation. Um, I believe at will. Um, at, at the same, anytime you can change yours, I believe they do not have access to. Can't remember if it's hybrid vocations that they don't have access to. Yes, it is hybrid I vocations that they don't have access. Yours thing last time. Oh, they can just have elf ears. Huh. Interesting. Sure. Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, what so, the um, hell is all this on the left? So this is what is called inclination. This is what determines how pawns interact with the world and what behaviors they pursue. Oh so uh, a uh, a mage pawn who has uh, um, medicant and mitigator as their two highest inclinations will be more inclined to heal and buff you, whereas a mage pawn that has scather and challenger will basically never heal or buff you and will instead just fire fucking fireballs all day, every day. And it doesn't even, like, so it's like, this is making a difference, obviously, in these, these values, but it's not really telling you what they're... No, it, it, uh, again, like, like I said before, uh, welcome to, uh, welcome to Dragon's Dogma. Give me one sec. I can pull up what uh, inclinations are which. 
I mean, okay, so first spawn, if I want to be a ranged character, is going to be the tank, presumably. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, I feel uh, like that's the ca the character I need to have in order to uh, to. So you can have up to four party members with you at any point in time, and uh, while only one of them is your specific pawn, um, you can pretty much always find a tank. But having one to be a tank is probably not a bad idea. Right. I mean, I think uh -huh. I need a tank and a mage probably if I'm gonna be if I if I play an archer, and then I yeah, I, I would is whatever. Mm -hmm floating uh, uh so i guess so, yeah is it is it it is not super important to worry about later there are points later where if we start actually caring about it you can change inclinations with uh like specific potions yeah. you can make or find um specifically if you are looking for a uh a like tank um i believe it is uh Guardian is going to be one that will be good for you, and um, probably Guardian and Scather, or either Guardian and Scather or Guardian and Challenger. Scather is uh, uh, battling large and giant foes. Um, Challenger is uh, prioritizing uh, ranged and ma magic using foes. Rescue comrades in danger, like me. Mm -hmm. It's important. Uh, oh, it rescues your party and turns the tide. <laughs> uh, Nexus is also a good one, um, because what they will do is, um, if they have Nexus, they will carry unconscious pawns to you so you can resurrect them. Oh. Potion that preserves youth. What? What I will say is, um, what you can't. Which gift would please me most? A brave and just hero to succeed me. The perfect spouse. Yes, gift me the perfect spouse. I mean, it worked out great for King Arthur. Uh huh. Uh, listen, all I'm saying. If that worked out super good, and Arthur wasn't a huge dick. <laughs> These are all fun questions, though, considering what I know about the game. Uh -huh. uh. Uh, so what I will say, you can get through the game and never look at inclination once. Yeah. Uh. It is an interesting system. It's not the most important system. Uh... I know that I, I almost certainly, because we I think we've talked about King Arthur before, um, but uh, whenever King Arthur comes up, I just want to remind people that in um, oh we got we got cutscene, right? Arthur becomes Holy Roman Emperor, or not Holy or whatever. Mm -hmm. He becomes Roman Emperor. Yes. Uh, in La Mort d'Arthur. Uh, and that never shows up in the adaptations, which makes me sad, because it's fucking wild. It is absurd. <laughs> he duels the Roman Emperor personally and kills him and then gets crowned by the Pope. <laughs> it's the new Emperor. Um, Lamar to Arthur is dumb as shit. It's great. <laughs> I don't think you could even pull that off in Crusader Kings 2. <laughs> Oh, no. You can duel people personally now, uh, but dueling people personally and then and then getting like their crown from that, uh, I don't think that. Uh... That would be sick if you could make it work, though. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. A lot. So again, this is one of those symptoms where there uh -oh. systems that will kind of just take care of itself. Oh. Um. So you have your specific pawn, and then. Uh, oh, is this this is recruiting seven. pawns? Yes. Okay. I need a mage. So, uh, you can actually customize what you're looking for. 
Oh. So you already have Rook, so uh, he's going to be the best you can get right now, since he's uh, at about your level. Alright. Um, so just leave him, and then you can get one more. Oh, one more aside from my, my other lady. So a total uh, you can have a total of three pawns with you. Yours, uh, uh, and then Rook, okay, and then one more. Okay, so a total okay. party of four. Oh yeah, what level am I? I have no idea. I've not seen you any level like four. level up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not like super obvious. Level ups are generally more like All just right. oh hey, you got some more stats. Sure. And then Rift Crystals uh, RC is the currency you get from your uh, your pawn going to other people. Um. Okay, so that is history. That's from Chronicle. Okay. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Starkish, I'm solved. I'm trying to become Byzantine Emperor in that game. Shit's hard. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's any advice for becoming a Byzantine Emperor. Uh, I've never done anything Byzantine, how... and I'm bad at CK2. I don't remember how the Emperor stuff works now because it's different than it was at some point in the past. Oh, hello. Uh, master and his pawns, actually. You'll be quite the force. Mind you, that is a skill better home. I can help in that. Mm. I don't know. I think I can hold in combat just fine. I think I, I think I gotta go kill some some rats and some goblins and bandits. Look at this motherfucker with Palpatine face, trying to act like he ain't mm. evil. So he has a quest, you get some experience, you can, I believe, just skip it. Give me one second here to make sure. The man of the enlistment corps. Never turn away the eager. I mean, I can do it, it's fine. Let me be clear okay. from the outset. I'm a harsh master, whoever the king. You'll complete three, each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more. If you find a task, there are others. The first task is oh, great. free Hauling. your company. But this, many hands will begin as your task is to haul all of the freight. But... He's just making you help him move. Uh huh. I, this isn't even helping him move. He's, he's having him move it from like. This is just digging a ditch and filling it back in. He just in. doesn't want to hire an intern, is really what's happening here. So, uh, one thing that'll help is oh, using God. Blink Strike to move faster. They're going for it. Okay, good for them, I guess. And then you hit RT and pick it up. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I hope everybody else has got it. Mm -hmm. Must hurry. There's no time. Well, did you get your shit? Enough. Well, I got my shit. Well done. Oh, okay. We did it. Uh -huh. I was like, I don't know if you guys did it. You guys were running and do it, so I, I trust you did it. Uh, I didn't hear what he actually wanted to do. Okay, destroying scarecrows. He's just putting up dummies for you to attack. Where are the dummies? Okay, there we go. Uh, where are they? It's mostly the same places as the uh, um, uh, boxes. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, is there one up on top? Yeah, there are. Do we? Do we get it? Well done. Okay. There are two sorts. One falls only to steal. If you're not mindful of how you. Uh, well, only one guy has any magic. It's back to the scarecrows for your But, uh. No. Oh, no, I'm level 3, apparently. Oh, no, that was, uh, that was my pawn. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> when I use a name for my characters, and then I split the name into. <laughs> And named one character one thing, and the other character the other thing. Uh, it's making things confusing. Uh, 
Yeah, that has to get a little disconcerting. I'll figure it out. Eventually. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Why? Clap. <laughs> yes, this would be hard for one person, uh, one season warrior to do. Good thing there's four of you. Yes, I see how I selected my partners very well because I didn't. I mean, I, I haven't seen a bad party. I don't know what a bad party looks like, so it's like, sure. Um, a bad party is basically one that doesn't have a mage. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I assume it's you're not a diverse party, uh, but... Uh, no, uh, you can make a party that's all mages and be just well, fine. Yeah, that's that's true in most games, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> like, literally just the only rule for uh, party building in this game? Have a mage. Uh, they're the only ones that have, like, several of the buffs that yeah. you need. You can take Wolf's, uh... Okay, so yeah, you see how, uh, the pants... If you go to the pants, uh, or that shirt, it's labeled as clothing. Oh, I see. So you can have one article of clothing and one article of armor on in each slot. Oh, whoops. Oh, Okay. It's gonna. Uh... So uh, first things first, I would advise you to take her sword. Oh okay. Um, because you're going to need it fairly soon. It's gonna. Uh, can I... Oh my god, can I not? No, okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, the Shtlevian shirt. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, okay, you said take the sword. Yeah, so unequip and then equip it on your main character. Well, sorry, buddy. There's just a fight coming up that's annoying if you don't have a decent weapon. Okay, um, what okay, is our... so okay. you do not have the next main quest. There's nothing that tells you how you should get the next main quest. Uh -huh. I will tell you how to get the next main quest. Uh, go out and talk to that woman I pointed out before, the one who looked like a knight. Uh, oh, that, like oh, the cloak and ship. Yeah. Her name is Mercedes. Oh, okay, she's got a green bubble over her head. So yeah, you will occasionally encounter uh, just random pawns in the world. Um, pawns that are a higher level than you uh, require RC to hire. However, uh, pawns other than your pawn don't oh, gain levels. <laughs> I'm starting to pawn. She might have gone off the stairs to your right. Oh, that is a... Uh, that's that... A uh, guy you saved. He's a shopkeeper. Oh, there. Been some time. The original. <laughs> I now, let us talk about... Sure. Hmm. I'll buy some large nuts. <laughs> okay. You could buy a new uh, sword so that uh, Wolf has a decent sword as well. Uh, you could also probably buy a regular shirt if you wanted. Rusty sword. Well, how soon do I get a, to swap? Uh, uh, there's. Also, do I have to buy a, a bow if I if I end up wanting to do that? Uh, you will. Yeah, bows are cheap as shit. Yeah, no, apparently. Do I have to buy arrows. Um, uh, you do not need to buy arrows except for like specialty arrows. Oh, hey. uh, you have infinite arrows otherwise. Can I help you? Oh, Jesus. Can I bid you mm -hmm. Let's go get her first, these. I am Mercedes. I lead the men of the Enlistment Corps. Mm -hmm. I've heard talk of the Horizon. They say you hold the oh, he's out. Pawns. Well, some of them. I've ordered pawns. Like, like these four. <laughs> yeah. 
the, the, the ones that aren't very strong. I cannot call them into this world as you do, though, nor make traveling companions of them. What manner of magic lets you command them so? Uh, talking rock. Got my heart ripped out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and some want some of the other, maybe. I welcome any help. Be it pawn, a reason, farmer, or fishwife. Make use of the encampments as you please. Are you in need of Ah. So, you might want to save first before uh, you rest, and then uh, resting will um, uh, continue the main quest. So, save first and then rest. Save. So it's just like a like there's not like separate saves. There no, there is not separate save slots. <laughs> gonna gonna do that a lot, jumping, <laughs> trying to talk to people. Until then, feel free to use our lodgings. Sure. Repose is the better. Oh. It's probably fine. Not the appropriate face reaction for this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm really wishing I had I had a shirt. I feel like I need more uh All right. So I believe the uh, back sides of their necks are fairly armored. You might want to crawl around to the lighter side. Oh, I was trying to see if I can get to there. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm just getting bodied here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's... yeah, so you need to be hitting Whoa, basically the underside of the belly. All right. Uh, it crushed the tower, and the shockwave of damage was dumb as hell. Oh, okay. Yeah, like you see how you're not bouncing off now? Yeah. I had, I, like, I wasn't losing that much stamina, so I was like, maybe I can actually get to the head. Uh, oh, that's, that's... Right. Yeah, that's that's the taunt. Um, it's not super effective against big bosses like this right I now. I was not actually trying to do that. I was just. Yeah, no, it's it's not very good. My uh, like shield, Dark Souls uh, instincts were kicking in with like mm -hmm. holding block and attacking. I'm like, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just, just. So, uh, it was a little hard to see from this angle. Someone threw a, um, uh, a bomb, a, a uh, barrel of explosives in it. Oh. That's what that lump in its throat is. Oh. Uh, so you want to climb and swing at that. Okay. Uh, well, do I? Uh, yes. Because it will do way more damage. Oh, damn. Yeah, but, uh... What? Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay, so one of your pawns, uh, died. Apparently. Um, God. Uh... Oh, it was, it was the other one. The one that's not important. This, this fight one. is rough and kind of frustrating. Because you don't have like any of the tools you will have later in the game. Hey guys. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, it's a wiggle stick. No, it seems bad. Well, 
Uh, you might want to try and, like, slash and stuff? I I'm not sure. I think you can, like, slash out of the stomach. I'm trying. Oh, yeah. So you see how it's, like, jerking? Oh. Oh. Okay. See? Yeah. Get me out of here, Keep doing that. It's fine. Uh, so try tapping to the side. Help is going to be a little uh, better. Um, yeah, just like keep mashing X, I think. <laughs> this is fucking... This is a lot. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I cannot, you know, it's like I can't even tell what I'm, you know, if I'm doing it. I guess I'm doing stuff. So. Yeah, it is, it is annoying. <laughs> I died? Yeah, so if you do not free yourself, you immediately. Er, er, fast enough before it finishes swallowing you, you immediately die. Alright. Um, so the when they do throw that barrel, though, you do want to attack. Like when they have that bulge, you do want to attack it as fast yeah. as possible. I was just, you know, thinking um, about exploding it in my face seemed like a. It, you'll enter just immediately a cutscene. It, it will be fine. <laughs> uh, oh, where's, where's the. Yeah, that that is why uh, I told you, hey, you should uh, you should save first. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Like I said, this game is kind of bad sometimes. I mean, it's you know, it's fine. I just uh, or it's uh -huh. as like it's yeah. don't feel like I have a great grasp on everything uh, at this point, so... So, one thing you can do here is hit, uh, side, and, um, it will, uh, tell, uh, or hit help, right. yeah, and that will tell Rook to, uh, buff you, right. which will let you do more damage. Maybe. Okay, come on. If he if he actually decides to, because fucking uh, he's healing, healing pawns healing are right frustrating. Now, which is fine. Also, she should not be okay. Yeah, she's gonna die again. She needs to uh, to like not be up here with her daggers. She needs to be shooting low. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know even where she is. So behind you. Yeah. Oh yeah, over that way. Uh, eight. Yeah. All right. Oh. No, don't strike its head. Just like shoot it. Shoot it with arrows. <laughs> You're uh, a tiny, weak pawn. You have like no strength. It's probably fine. It's like I, I just keep wanting like a, a dodge roll. So you get a dodge roll eventually, um, especially in the archer classes. It's just not something you have access to right away. Uh -huh. No, no, okay. I was like, I'm trying to stay out of the way of the heads. Assuming it's the one I'm hitting. Okay. I'm gonna try and stay out of the way.
just want to climb over it. There you go. Oh. Oh! Yes, uh... Why didn't we get this last time? Uh, I, so I think it was actually a person that it had eaten and not the barrel. I just didn't see it eat the person. Oh. But yes, do you need to attack that? And uh, as you, if you do it successfully, it'll just straight up explode. So you want to climb that and kill it. Come on. Okay, well, no. Uh, so you can jump while you're climbing, uh, and you'll need to jump over. Nope. Okay. Go ahead you can hit right. RT in the air. Uh, yeah. That's to grab nice. against. Okay. Oh my god. This is a lot. Oh. Well, that was easy. There you go. Uh, -huh. uh I didn't, there was no explosion there, but you know. Uh huh. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I'm not too worried about getting swallowed by it. Oh, man. That's it's probably fine. I am impressed. Really? Is your handiwork? Sure. Uh, sure, I can take credit. <laughs> this feels a lot like, like Skyrim, where it's like, Oh, you killed this dragon? There's like 20 archers that are just pin cushioning it the entire time, and you can literally do nothing. The game is more aware that that is bullshit than Skyrim is, is what I will say. I hoped to gather a larger force before leaving for the Hydra's head and the Orisen we claimed. I cannot say what the past may hold. You will need your staff. It will be slow going with the cart. I dare say you will have no trouble catching up. We'll make okay. Way, castle. Oh. Quest knowledge. So, uh... Oh, yeah, now I'm level six. Yeah, so, first things first. Uh, you should go to, uh... Yeah, first, mark that. Um, and then you should go to the in guy. So you in can learn a couple new man. skills. Kelvin in uh, he's back up the ramp, I believe. Okay, you're healing. And then to the right. The castle is arisen. Uh, oh. Within this tent, yeah, this place looks a little different now. We can yeah, the, the giant holes do not help things. Uh, so, uh... There are some spell, there are some skills here that are useful to learn. Uh, you should go uh, to core skills first. Um, those are going to be like your basic stuff, like dodge rolls and things like that. Uh, uh, so that's just and those are basically just two new uh, combos. Sword and mace. I don't have a sword and mace. Uh, sword and mace are considered like the same type of skill or, or type oh. of main hand weapon. Oh. I, okay, I was like, dual wielding sword and mace. That's that's very specific. No, unfortunately, <laughs> that would be sick though. Uh, uh, well, I can only power instead. One, but you can also go up uh, to the actual skills you can get. So, oh, yeah. uh, the shield ones are kind of bad in a lot of cases. Oh, um, so we have our own discipline. Yes, so each character has their own discipline, uh, and then the rank is also what is going to determine what skills you can learn. So, Skyward Lash is actually really useful to learn. I was going to say, you probably need this. Just because otherwise you just don't have really a way to hit up. Um, for you, I would get Skyward Lash, and then uh, probably Broad Cut. Or uh, shield strike. I want to be an archer. Uh, so spending a little bit of discipline here just to get you some basic skills, yeah. Uh, because basically, uh, until you get through the pass with um, 
uh, Mercedes is uh, when you can change classes. Oh, we still got a while. Uh, it's a little bit of time. It's like less than an hour, but uh, is right. enough time where it's like, part. hey, you should probably get those just because they're useful. Oh, they're useful. this is oh, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's not not fixed buttons. No, it's not. And then augments Wait. are passed, as you can get. Wait, I can... What, what is this? Oh, they don't have buttons. Okay, so this is just... Right, because you aren't playing them, so... Well, that's why I was like, what? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. So I believe uh, the broad slash is just basically a big wide swing. You are not healed up. Hmm. No, so you see how she doesn't have any light gray health? Oh, so she healed up what she could. Yes, she healed up what she could. However, until you either rest or give her an item, oh. she will not heal anymore. Can we just... Oh, I guess we, we had to pay at the end to rest, but... Yep. Yeah. 300 isn't that much, honestly. You have like 8k right now. Can I help you? Can I no, I you just look like my friend. <laughs> Good pawns travel the rift connecting this world with those beyond. A terrible creature. I saw it's been dispatched. Uh, uh hold a moment. Is Kino not with you? No. She was said to lead the village in search of art for your wounds. Oh, boy. These are dark times for a girl alone in the wilds. So. It's because I threw a bucket at her. So, this quest is the quest that we have to do um, before a specific point. Uh, hey, come here. We have come to here, do buddy. that before... We were the this okay uh okay i know which uh point that is um so um we don't have to do this right now and in fact it might be kind of rough to do right now um you have time you can go to the city and get uh uh your new class before we do this one um, but this is something that we basically go to the city, get your new class, uh, let you get some more uh, weapon and armor from the new city, uh, and then uh, you would come back and do this. This is maybe the most important side quest in the game. And if you just say, oh, I'll come back and do it and go to the city and do like three quests, one of which, or only one of which involves any combat at all, it becomes unavailable, completely and totally, and you never see it again. Well, you, you can't let your friends uh, be lost in the forest. Yeah, no. It, it, it's fair. Um, I actually... Kina might just die. Who are you? Gives me chills just to think of it. Oh, let me tell you, I was too quick. There's all down. You're not seeing me going back down there to no. die. You. Yes. Okay, there we go. I just wanted yep. to get the actual quest. Yeah, for sure. Because <laughs> I did not have it. Okay, so is this the actual, like, going to so, the city? Off with its head is going to the city, yes. Okay. Alright. Hopefully I can get some, some clothes. Mm-hmm. Get some clothes, get some armor, get a better sword, get a class that you want to play. Yeah, mostly just just fashion. That's the most important thing. I mean, our, the, the class is also good, but uh, I'm fine. Other direction. Class oh. of all kinds. Um, you take the main road. Really, guys? How the hell did you find a goblin, like, two meters Behind out? Him. Well, apparently we completely 
completed the quest to kill goblins. Yep. Jesus. Like I said, you just grab those whenever you see them, uh, because they just I hope that's will not... auto-complete I hope eventually. Completing quests doesn't uh, affect anything. Um, so those you need to go to the message board to get the reward, I believe. I just meant the uh, the counter for this other thing, but. Oh no no no! It, it is specific uh, main quest progress. Oh okay okay. Gotcha. Uh, it, it's just that the main quest that you would hit is basically like you okay. go to the city and there is a specific quest chain that oh, it directs you to do like right away. Not as bad. Okay. No, it, it's just like it's very easy to not realize. Oh hey, uh, this ends if you go and do the basically next step right. after you get into the city. Sure. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, so I just gotta go in the other direction. Yeah, you're going the direction that you're going. Or you're going in the right direction. No, I know. I was just like, because this is where I was. So I came out right. and, and did this. And then you went and, and back to the like, fishing town. I actually got to go yeah. all the way. I got to go the exact opposite way. Yep. <sighs> you can actually go around the uh, uh, encampment if you don't want to go through the loading sure. screen. Can I? Oh, no. This is not a town, so I don't have any infinite run speed. Oh, <laughs> nope. No. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, that would have been really funny. <laughs> oh, boy. Listen, we've all done it. I'm sure this game uh, doesn't kill you with fall damage, right? <laughs> That's cute. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Good call. Like, I assumed it auto-saved after the, uh, the Hydra, but... I believe it does, but its autosaves are, like, pretty infrequent. It's basically when you sleep and when you go to an inn. Great. Um, so, in general, you'll want to save pretty often. The road splits here. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. What's You're up? going the right way. Mm, no. I, I just wanted to... just wanted to chat. Oh. Bandits. Oh, oh, fuck. Really sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I locked onto you. It's really Oops. not my fault. So don't forget to use your skills. You'll do way more damage with them. Yeah, that's... It's just confusing because you have to hit a button first. What's that? It's a little hard because you have to do, do the button first. It's a little yeah, that's also, fair. I can't identify who the hell is a bandit here and who is not. Um, basically, anybody who's not y'all is a bandit. Well, there were some people just walking along here, and then they got attacked, and then I actually hit one. Yeah, they, was... if they aren't, like, involved in the combat and they get hit, they will run away very quickly, by and large. Okay, I hope this is a bandit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because, like, this guy. I yeah. I think this is the guy that I... The I Knights of the Exception. Hit. Basically. But he seems fine. Mm -hmm. He's not uh, upset. Yeah, let's all get healed! Woo! Healy juice! <laughs> uh, yeah. How are you? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, you're just uh, in your pond. Mm hmm. Oh. Can I bid you farewell? What are, what are my, uh, what are my people? Can I see what my people are at here? Okay, I'm level 7. You're level 6. Mm-hmm. So, uh, other people's pawns will not level up as they travel with you. Only you and Wolf will. So that is, like, incentive to swap out, uh... Yes. I'm Who am I... Pawns. Yeah, switch this pawn. Who am I releasing? Uh, I would release Sicily. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, just a second. We're... we're, we're... Uh, you got to hit A. <laughs> we're a little bit busy. Guys. Okay. Oh, is that like a, a back? Oh. Yeah, so that's got like a back step, and that'll help you uh, avoid damage cool. sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. They're weak to fire. Oh, well, I 
Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. that's, that's actually very useful information. Yeah. That is, uh, like, that is one of those things pawns will learn. Uh, and then, oh, like, oh. if you bring other folks' pawns into your game, and they know that, they will say that and teach your pawns. I've not heard of this, this part of this game at all, like... Oh, really? Not the, like, I mean, you know, it's like, I know pawns exist, but I didn't, they just sounded like they were just, like, NPCs, and they would, you know, you could get them from your friends, but, or, like, you know, oh, like, yeah, not, no, like, not, like, it, they were just, like, like, AI followers that just fought, mm. you know, they didn't do... Yeah, it's not, it's not necessarily, like... system, uh, larger. Yeah, it's not necessarily, like, the most robustly developed AI, but they are, like, very much, uh, experiment, experientially, uh taught um and so like that can uh, your character there's a thing called knowledge points basically um so as they continually encounter same, the same situation uh and try different things they'll learn new things about it so like they wouldn't have learned they're weak against fire if you hadn't used fire against them mm -hmm. if that makes sense mm -hmm. sure um and so that is one of the uh ways that like you can gain more knowledge and teach pawns the other thing is uh if you bring in another pawn that already has this knowledge it will tell them and that'll let you learn things oh, that you wouldn't have known otherwise oh, there's a lot of fucking A lot of wolves. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Just die! Leave us alone! Are we, are we getting anywhere? Yeah, we're getting there. Yes. The, the path is a switchback. Can we just go this way? You might be able to. Looks like this is a lot more direct. It does seem like it. it is a land rife with spots where useful materials may hide. You guys with me? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the look at that. Falls. Mind the depth of the water on this I guess that's not the road. The sea is clear. Yeah, you're going the right spot. Okay. This is an island. Right around this way. Yeah, it would have been a lot slower to go the other way. Mm-hmm. I do like that, like, nice little touch of, like, just teaching you early, like, yeah, you can you can follow the road. It'll get you where you want to go, but it's gonna be faster to go uh to go your own way, just so that they can fuck you up later. Oh, it's so, Mercedes. Uh, yes. So safe here. So this is going to be an escort quest that will take oh, a little bit of time. This is like a fifteen minute escort quest. Okay. It's just, uh, I am, however, unfortunately getting fairly tired and i need to go to bed okay so i will have yeah. to bow out here for the night i was gonna be done pretty soon i usually go to yeah. just till 11 i guess would be yeah i usually go three hours so and yeah we, we, you know we'd start a little because we were yeah so th this would push you past 11 um it's yeah, like yeah. a 15 20 minute escort quest of just slow walking interspersed with fighting uh um, okay which is... well, we can stop here that's fine yeah, um, that would that would probably be my my recommendation in that case. Sure. Um, yes, <sighs> I uh, I hope you're enjoying it so far. It is. It's good. Yeah, it it's a weird game that like doesn't really make sense until you actually start touching it with your own hands. Yeah, I mean, I I just had no real idea of what to expect from it. Um, but mm -hmm. it's fun so far. I'm I'm curious. I'm glad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would love to be around the next time you play it. I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it. Yeah, well, I'm just going to be 
playing it on Mondays, I think. So I said, okay. just I will keep... be here most Mondays then. All right, that sounds good. All right. Um, cool. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Sarah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm gonna head out then. Okay. Uh, y'all have a nice night. Yeah. Peace. Bye. Uh, everybody else, um, thank you for joining us tonight for Dragon's Dogma. Like we just said, uh, we'll be back next Monday, uh, and hopefully Sierra will be back. Um, we did save. I guess we'll save and return to the screen. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, other than this, I'll be back on Friday, streaming Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. It's Friday afternoons, and then there's streams on Saturday and Sunday. Um, but yeah, you can follow the channel for notifications when I go live. You can sub for emotes my cats. We've got, oh, both of them are over there right now. Uh, what? I did not tell it to you that, but... Um... Yeah, I appreciate everybody a lot hanging out and chatting. Uh, it's a lot of fun for us. Uh, I hope it is fun for you, and I hope you uh, join me again in the future. Uh, join both of us for, for this. Uh, good night.